Information about the Cycladic society of the third millennium BC derives mostly from cemeteries rather than from settlements, which, whether coastal or continental, were initially small and scattered. Fortified settlements, some of them built on the top of steep hills, began to appear around the middle of this millennium. These have been associated with a time of turmoil in the Aegean region due to the movement of populations from the north and the east. The economy was based on the same traditional form mix that prevailed until recently in the Cyclades. Mixed farming, mainly cereals rather than grapes and olives, sheep and goat raising, and fishing. The introduction of metallurgy to the Aegean from the east led to the development of a significant metalworking artisanship, which in turn brought about radical changes. The manufacture of more efficient weapons improved the arts of war, and the production of sturdy tools helped advance farming, construction and shipbuilding, and thus the economy. This inevitably resulted in the accumulation of wealth and the creation of prosperous social classes which used, among other things, metal vessels and jewellery as status symbols. Early Cycladic cemeteries provide clear indications of social stratification, for the quantity and quality of grave goods bestowed on the privileged reflected their social standing. Most of the marble vessels and figurines characteristic of that age were found in graves. The abundance of marble in the Cyclades favoured the production of such goods, many of which bear traces of their original painting. The Cycladic marble figurines, whose morphology continues the Neolithic tradition, and the fact that many of these were placed in graves are the only indications of specific burial rites in the Cyclades. The figurines usually portray upright, nude female figures, sometimes with swollen belly, denoting pregnancy, and always with the breasts and pubic area accented. Given these features, it is reasonable to assume that they were associated with fertility cults as representations of either specific female deities or devotees in supplication.